Uh, take a look at this. Long lines of local gas stations as thousands of people take that $2 gamble. Of course, the winner could come from right here at the Tri-State. Nine on your side's Kristen Swilly spent the evening with people buying last minute tickets. She joins us live from Covington. Did you have a winning ticket, Kristen? Um, I hope so. Like we've been saying, you may not see us after the commercial break anymore if that is the case. But for right now, we're keeping our fingers crossed. We do know, of course, Tanya Craig, that a billion dollars, you could buy several private islands, luxury cars, even take trips to outer space and still have millions of dollars left over. But the people we spoke to out here at this Covington Speedway, well, they have plans that are a lot more down to earth. 20, 20, mega million. It's a jackpot so big it's outgrown this display. This is big. I mean, this is huge. The chance for mega millions to turn someone into a billionaire drew dozens to this Covington gas station as the deadline crept closer. I was uh, shocked. It keeps growing every day. The odds of winning the billion dollar prize aren't promising, one in about 300 million. But as long as there's a chance, people in the tri-state refuse to miss out on their shot. I mean, everybody gambles. Whether you drink, smoke, I don't do either, so this is my only habit I get. Some chose to get in on office pools and get a bonus ticket of their own. Yeah, it's like everybody pitches in, but this is on myself. <laughs> but when you ask people here what they do with the winnings, it's a little more modest and a lot more selfless than you may expect. Make sure my mother's comfortable. My mother, my kids family members that are close that I know now. <laughs> Pay my house off, I'll build me another house. I'll do a lot of things, help my kids out. No matter what they do with their winnings, everyone agrees on one thing, true in mega millions and in life. You can't win unless you play, so I'm, I'm gonna play. <laughs> Now, we did speak to one guy who didn't want to go on camera, but told me he spent $100 at this speedway alone. He's actually been bouncing around from gas station to gas station, putting up nearly $1,000. Reporting live in Covington this evening, Kristen Swilly, 9 on your side.